so welcome back in our last video we created this featured here you can see it here featured section and today i want us now to create this uh, filter here or filter card but we will call it such so this is what we'll be implementing in this video like this such here so let's go back and let's start at here in our wrapper here so in our featured here so what i'll do because as you can see here in this uh, project here this will be on top of everything so we'll be using absolute position absolute so what i'll do is that i'll create another div so let us create another div so let's copy this just like that or oh, let me cut first of all and then i will create another div here and inside this div here i will add a class and this class i call it styles dot wrapper just like that and then i'll paste my code here as you can see now this code is uh, is called container here you have this div that is called container so after this div here now this is where i'll create another div and this div i'll call it where i will give it a class of such uh, styles dot um, such some something of the sort so inside here we need now to have such items such items will hold like a heading and also a an input that is what i mean is that it will have this as a heading and also it will have this as an input heading input heading input or heading and select something of the sort i think you can understand now what i mean so inside here now the other thing that we need to do is to create this search item so i'll create search item here so i'll just say div and then inside here i'll give it a class of uh, styles and then search item so search i'll call it search underscore item something of the sort so right now what i'll do now is i'll give the i'll give the first heading here so the first heading here will be for location location and then let's see here you can see the location and then we'll have the input so that is uh let's call it here an input an input and this time this input will have a placeholder and this placeholder is called search location search location and then that that is all so that is the first one so that is the first one so we need to have another uh, another search item so we have completed this one we need this one here is called it so so i'll just copy this one search item here and then let's copy it and paste it down here but this time this one will be for date uh, just something like that and then the other thing is that here now this will be date it won't be the type of text so it will be an input of text and here i won't have this placeholder here so something of the sort so the other thing is that we need to paste our search item here and the other search item will hold a uh, price so this one will have price here and then this one won't be sir input here it will be a select and option so it will have select here and then it will have a list of options so the first here so let's have our first option so our first option here 
we'll have a option of all prices so let me add here all prices all prices so let's copy this and paste it several times so let's paste uh, this one here several times so as you can see it here so and then or rather i can copy the code and then paste it here because it is very simple so let's copy this here and then paste it here so let us paste it here something of the sort so you can see here now we have the price range so you can see here we need to have a price range of zero uh, zero to five hundred dollars five hundred dollars to one thousand and then one thousand plus here or more so i need to format this code so that i can remove the extra spaces so when i format a code you can see it is now looking great so the other thing now is to make sure that this the first one here it is disabled because we won't be it will be selected and also it will be selected and also disabled meaning that you cannot select all prices and it will be the one that you will be shown like as by default that is so now the other thing that paste uh, okay not that and let us copy this uh, such item the way we were doing so copy this and then down here let's paste it and this time also we'll have um, uh, rather i think i think they are we have enough uh, we have events type then okay so we have events type so here let's add events events type here and in here we'll have options uh, we'll have select and options so i'll just copy and uh, uh, paste so for the options so just something of the sort and then in here i want to just copy and paste code because it is very simple i don't want to waste a lot of time uh, so i did add it here and then let us format our code so you can see events type we can have an online physical and blended in blended i mean it can be both online and physical so now the other thing that we need to have is a button because remember here you can see here we have this button at the end here so that's what we'll be also creating so to create that i just need to add here yeah, I just need to come here outside this search item and uh, I'll create the I'll say button so this is button and inside now this button here I will say find events find events or event rather uh, so I'll give it a class name so I'll just give a class name and this class name i'll say it is styles and then dot event underscore button something of the sort and then that's all now and then let's see how it looks so let us uh, save and then when we come here let's hit load and then you'll see like they are here down here but you can see we need them here like we need them here so that's why we're going we'll be using a position absolute because position absolute will will give it or will uh, will have the position in uh, in here above everything in this featured and to do that now we must use in our wrapper we must give it a position we must give a position relative to the wrapper so what we'll do now so let's go into here in our styles so in our styles here in our module styles feature.module.css uh, what i'll do here before this container 
because I want to follow the logic, we'll have now the wrapper because the wrapper comes before the container. <coughs> and here, I'll just add a position relative, just like that. So now let's go back and start now styling the search now because we'll have the, we'll style the search here the search div that is or the one that is holding such items and in here i'll say border none first first of all i'll just say border should be uh, none or not and uh, no width width will be uh 80 percent and then the other thing is that you'll have a background color a background color here so our background color will be have will have this ash and then 14 and then 13 and then 16 just uh, just a variation of black color and then the other thing is that we need to have a color and a color here will have a color of white smoke the other thing is that we need to have a padding and then a padding of uh, let's say a 10 10 but uh, 10 pixels and then we need to have position now we'll call it position absolute absolute and now to position it we need to add uh, here the bottom we need to style it at the bottom from the bottom we want it to be 5 15 percent and i like to use percent because you are using percent is it is, it is easier to uh, to do the responsiveness so the other thing is that we need to have uh, uh, from the right it should be let's say 10 pigs 10 percent and then the other thing is that we need to have a height i need it to have a height of 15 pig, uh, percent so i just want to use percentage because i feel that percentage is easier for me when I want to do the responsiveness using media query. So it is display flex and then I'll just align items to be center, align items and say center. And then the other thing is that we need to justify content and to justify content and then I'll say space between or space even uh, something of the sort now. So let's uh, save this here and then let's see the change so you can see we have created and then uh, this search here and these are search items here but in here we need to do several several things so that it looks like this one here first of all we need to remove the border and the outline of this search uh, search here or search input or inputs rather and select options we need to remove them and also we need to style this button to look like this one here so let's go back and in here now what we can do we can uh, we can select search and then can say input all inputs that are inside the search and just say border to be none and then we need to do outline to be none also and we want to do the color color should be white smoke uh, white smoke uh, the other thing is that we need to have a background background color and background color of transparent and then i just wanted to have a font size font size of let's say 15 pixels the other thing is that we need to have font width a font width of uh, let's say font width of um, let's say 900 and then we need to have a color a color of uh, let's say hash f4 and then 21 and then 55 something of the sort now uh, like that so let's go back and look at how it looks so after it has saved uh, and then reload you can see now it's looking almost similar to this one here 
So, but then again, I need to continue and, uh, and also style the select options here and also the button. So next we select search, uh, search select. So we just say to select and then not um, search here yeah, and then select, sorry. So now inside here, I'll just add, uh, I'll just say border none also. And then outline none, outline should be none also uh here the other thing is that we need to have a background a background color of transparent so you can see it's almost the the one for the input and then we need to have a color and this color is this one here that we added up here so i want to have a font size of uh, 20 pixels and also we need to have um let's say font width a font width of let's say 500 the other thing is that we need to have a width a width of let's say one 150 pixels and then we need to also have a padding padding of 10 pixels and then the other one the other thing is font family and this font family here, we'll call it Roboto. We'll add a Roboto. So something of the sort, and then let us save. And now after that, we can see here how it looks. So it, lo it almost looks like this one here. Uh, but this one, you can see the color is different. So we can change this color. So by changing this color, what we'll do here, so I will just say this color to be F9, F9 here, and then it should be 64, and then uh, 90, like this one here. So let's see now. Uh, we can see that now it has changed, and it looks uh, like this one here. So it looks almost the same. So we need to style the button now. So let's come here and then let's select now. Just say search and then I'll say button. Inside here a button. And now what we can do now to select that or rather what we can do is that also we can let's say I think we had a class for it and the class was uh, event event events underscore button i think we had a class name of it just like that one and then i just say background color so background color it should be like this one here this one and then we need to have a padding so a padding of a button will have a padding of let's say 20 pixels so the other thing is that we need to have a width, a width of let's say 200 pixels, and then we need to have also color, and then a color of this one here white, and then font width, font width to be font width of 900, and then we need to have also. A font width of 900 and then we need to have a, let's say font size font size should be 18 18 pixels and then the other thing is that we need to have a border border of none and then the other thing is border radius border radius of 30 pixels so the other thing is cursor and cursor pointer, just something of the sort now. So let's see how it looks. So after a while now, we'll see that it will change. So it is saving and then afterward it should change. So right now you can not see the change, I think because of the class name. So what we can do is that we can copy this 
here this class name i thought that we give it a class name so and then yes we give it the class name but you can see here this class name is different so this is events so here we need to add the s here and then let's see the change so after it has uh, now saved you can see now we have this here we have this button uh, i think it it even looks better than the other the for the previous or the original project that is so i think that's all that i wanted to create in this video so let me see you in the next video where we where will create this pop-up here for adding our or for user to add their name email for number and then add our add it to database or when because they need to be or if they want to get notified for events so let me see you in the next video